What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Bond Department YouTube channel. I, of course, am Luke. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, Bond Department, Twitter, Bond Department. So uh, what we're going to do here is the new James Bond, or I should say, shouldn't say new, the remastered GoldenEye has come out on Xbox and Nintendo Switch. As of right now, it's only online, like multiplayer, on Nintendo Switch. Hopefully that'll change. But what we're going to do, just to kind of relive the nostalgia, is we'll do just like a little bit of a playthrough. Um, I haven't really been able to play the game like I, w I would want to since I was a kid. So we've got it for Xbox here. I'll have my little picture-in-picture picture as I play, almost as if I'm streaming it. And uh, I'll kind of just talk through each level. Um, I mean, it is essentially a playthrough and a walkthrough, but it's not so much a guide. Um, you can kind of follow along and see what I do if that's what you were interested in watching the video for, to kind of, if you're stuck on something. Obviously, I'm going to attempt to beat all these levels on Double O Agent, but I haven't played this game since I was a child. So I don't know if I can. If I can't, don't make fun of me. I'm not like a gamer. It's not my thing. <laughs> Bond is my thing. So, um, so yeah. So every Tuesday and Thursday of each week, I'll do a level. So Tuesday we'll start with one, and then later that week on Thursday will be the very next level. I'll try to do them all in Double O Agent. If not, it'll at least be Special Agent. I won't do Agent. Um, that's not fun. It'll take me two minutes. But yeah. So I hope you guys enjoy. Like I said, it's more so to just kind of relive the nostalgia. GoldenEye 64 is what got me into Bond. Um, my channel wouldn't exist if it wasn't for GoldenEye 64. The game led to the film, which led to this. So, just kind of want to relive it, relive childhood a little bit, and then I'll kind of talk through each level, personal experience, you know, with each level and relating it back to the film and whatnot. So I hope you guys enjoy, and uh, let's get at it. All right, here we are, runway, double O agent. You know, honestly, this one's a bit of a bitch. So, if I don't beat it in double O agent, we're going to secret agent. Thank you guys again for joining, or I should say thank you for joining again. This is the Golden Knight Remastered walkthrough series. Um, I'm reiterating this because, like I just said, if for some reason I don't beat this on Secret Agent, which I should, I've, I've beaten the game by this point, or three episodes into this walkthrough. At this point, I have beaten the entire game on Agent and Double O Agent, or Agent and Secret Agent, and I'm, I've only got about five levels left in Double O Agent. Now, I've talked about this a few times, when I was playing this game on Nintendo 64, I was very young. So this game was, of course, about playing the levels, for sure. But it was also a lot about um, the multiplayer. So me not having ever beaten this game in Double O Agent before isn't anything wild. You know, it's, uh, you know, it was just like not really my intent when I was a kid. But since then, now that I'm playing it on Xbox, um, I have beaten it. Shit balls. Um, like I've this level, I have beaten on Double O Agent, but not in front of you guys. So we will see what happens. It's a proximity mine, I think. So it's a, it's maybe it's a timeline. I don't know. Yeah, it blew up. Okay, cool. So we're gonna go back. Actually, we're gonna get the tank. I try to avoid the tank because it's nothing but a pain in the ass, but like in the level streets, I literally don't use the tank. And I'm, I'm assuming a lot of people don't because it seems to be the easier way to go about this. But uh, for this, we'll use it. But yeah, so this is another level, back to kind of the, the playthrough aspect of it. This is another level that we do see in the actual film. Uh, it's a little different. This has got a nighttime feel to it. Um, in the film, it's definitely daytime. Um, he leaves the facility area 
just like he does in the game, right through the, Jesus, Luke. Nice, right through the, um, the conveyor belt there, which is cool that they did that so accurately. Um, we're gonna, we actually might beat this, no problem. Come on, you son of a bitch. Um, so yeah, in the game, he leaves facility just like he does in the film, right through that little conveyor belt, which is really cool. Um, and then he runs through here, gets on a motorcycle, chases down this plane, and then uh, I think, let's see if we did it. I think we did it. <laughs> I'm sitting here thinking I'm not going to beat it. I'm sitting here half paying attention to any of this right now. And we did it. Okay. So we got, we got some time to talk. In the film, he leaves facility. He goes running through. You know what? We'll just play it again, but we'll do it on agent so we can kind of just talk it through. Um, in the film, leaves facility, go through the conveyor, conveyor belt, which is nice because, of course, in the game, in this game, he goes through the conveyor belt. It takes him right out to this. So the difference is, this is a nighttime look. Film, it takes place in the daytime. In this, there's a couple other little missions because of course they have to kind of add some substance to it here. But, you know, this you have to find the, the key to the plane. Um, if you play on secret agent or double O agent, you have to destroy like those uh, missile systems or whatever. Obviously none of that is in the film. He just gets on a, what looks like kind of like a dirt bike, takes off, jumps, you know, drives the motorcycle off the cliff, jumps off the motorcycle into the plane, and then the scene, I mean, this is the whole pre, pre-title sequence. So dam, facility, and this one are technically um, the pre-title sequence to Goldeneye. Uh, let's see, I've, you know, some of this shit I haven't really looked at. I'm pretty sure there's a way to get into some of these doors over here too, but I'll, see, we got five minutes left. I didn't think, <laughs> this is the thing, that this just goes to prove it. I mean, I was trying to beat this on 00 Agent the day it came out. So, like I said, that probably would have been the first time in my life. It's kind of embarrassing when I think of that, that, you know, GoldenEye's been around for so long and this is the first time I've tried beating it on these higher or harder levels, but you know, the fact of the matter is it, it wasn't a concern of mine when I was a kid. I just like playing the game and you know, like I continue to reiterate in these videos, it was the, the similarity between the game and the film that really, really catapulted my imagination. So just as a kid playing the game, playing the levels repeatedly, not trying to do better on them, just playing them over and over again. Like, I think one of the things I would do when I was a kid was try to beat them faster, which on Xbox are actually achievements for some of these levels. Um, this isn't one of them. Like, I think facility, you have to try to beat it in two minutes and 15 seconds on 00 Agent to unlock some things. Um, so there's stuff like that now that you can do. It's funny, doing this, I mean, we're on the top half of week two of doing this, but when I'm not recording these, um, I'm still playing it. Like, I'm just repeatedly playing the game. And I've just been wanting to watch Goldeneye, and I haven't done it yet. I don't know why. It's, it's kind of s triggered me to want to watch all of them. You know, all the Brosnan stuff, not Die Another Day, but everything else. <laughs> If anybody knows, I'm sure I can Google it, but this is more fun to interact with, the, with you guys. Um, if anybody knows how to get into those doors, I'm pretty, sh I'm pretty sure you can. That door back there on my left, I'm pretty sure you can get in there. Um, let me know in the comments if, if I'm crazy or... Yeah, and see, I decided to take a little stroll over here. There's nothing, nothing different. Yeah, it's, this is pretty simple on Agent. That's for sure. But yeah, so that's Runway. Nothing special. I knew this would be a short video. I considered um, combining this one and Surface or whatever's next. Bunker, whatever, I think. I don't know, Surface probably. And uh, that's not really the point. The point is to be able to 
you know, I'm, and I'm not doing this for views. I don't really do any of my YouTube videos for views. Some of them do great, some of them don't. It's all the same. But I'm doing this because I want people to be able to put these videos up and get a feel for what this game looks like remastered. If they want to see a specific level, I have a video for each specific level rather than combining. Um, you know, like I said, I could have combined this one and the next one because this one's so short. That one's a little longer only because you're covering more surface, uh, hence the name, but not because it's more intricate, that's for sure. But yeah, and then another thing too I'll point out with this is I'm drawing a blank. And you can sit here and play this all day, by the way. They'll just keep showing up. There's no rhyme or reason to where these guys come from. There's no alarm going off. They just continue to show up. Let's see. Like, where's your coat? We got a minute left on this. A minute left on the timer. Like this video could have been three minutes long, but we're milking the shit out of it. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. Again, this has been Runway on Double O Agent. We beat it. I'll reiterate this one more time. The point of this is not so much a walkthrough guide. It's just so viewers on YouTube can get a glimpse of the remastered version, whether it's because you have PlayStation, you don't have Xbox, you don't have Nintendo Switch. Oh, they destroyed the plane. Looks like we're just gonna sit here and, you know, whatever but yeah it's just a playthrough just kind of to see what's going on see what it's all about live in the nostalgia like i am have a little fun thank you guys for watching